Anyway, so today, T Green 97. Um, and I think the, you know, the best way to start about, or start talking about T Green is with the free radical problem. So, uh, you know, we have the biophotonic scanner here that measures, uh, you know, the carotenoids in the skin, and we'll get to that in a second because a lot of people have asked, is T Green scanner certified? Uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. Uh, but free radical problem is, uh, is what we want to start with. And that is because in your body, um, you know, whether you're exercising, you're out in the sun, you have, you know, toxins, pollution around you, you get these free radical hits. You, and a free radical, what it is, is a molecule that is missing an electron. And so what it does is it goes around in the body looking for another molecule uh, from which it can scavenge an electron uh, so that it can become a more stable molecule. Now, that's, that's an issue because the, these free radicals are going and hitting, you know, very uh, important parts of the body trying to take electrons from molecules that aren't necessarily able to give them up and still function properly like your DNA. You don't want free radicals hitting your DNA trying to take those uh, electrons because then your DNA would become uh, not as functional um, or would be damaged because it lost that electron. So, in order to solve that problem of this, you know, thing bopping around in your body, we have our antioxidants. And the antioxidants, what those do is those antioxidants, they have extra electrons that they can give to the free radicals. So when we talk about uh, neutralizing free radicals, we're not necessarily you know, getting rid of them, purging them out of the body, uh, those molecules. What we're doing is we're providing antioxidant protection, uh, which is when an antioxidant comes in contact with the free radical, that electron is shared over to the free radical. So the free radical is neutralized uh, because it becomes a more stable molecule at that point because it got the electron that it needs. So we can, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do that with, uh, you know, with these antioxidants, and there are so many different antioxidants. And today we're talking about uh, one kind, and that is uh, the, um, the catechins. The catechins from the polyphenols, which are in tea green. So polyphenols, that, those are, that's just a substance that is uh, derived from green tea, uh, in which we are able to pull out the catechins. So, I mean, if, if you hop online, you can see in the product information page, you can see a lot of information that I'm going to be talking about today that has been legally approved that you don't have to worry about saying online or to your friends. Uh, you know, it's stuff that you can say, um, and there's a lot of really great information in there. So, uh, again, going back, uh, I want to talk about how tea green has a 97% polyphenol content with a minimum of that, with 65% being catechins. Now, these catechins are a very powerful antioxidant, and those are in charge of doing uh, what I just said, you know, providing that extra electron to those uh, free radicals that are going around attacking your cells and all these other things in your body, all these other molecules trying to take that electron. So catechins are very, very important, uh, and you can get those from tea green. Now, I've had a lot of questions about it, and I have some pulled up here, down here. Uh, there are questions you guys have asked in, this, uh, in the Facebook post from yesterday. And if you have any questions, uh, make sure you can ask them on here. If I catch them, I will try and answer them in this video. And if not, we will try and answer them in comment later on. Uh, but uh, one of the questions is, you know, how, how is tea green and the cellular protection that we're getting there with this catechin, this antioxidant, different from age lock youth? Now, age lock youth is a more holistic approach providing you know, various antioxidants and um, really bolstering your body's ability to produce antioxidants like glutathione. So it's kind of a, a double-edged sword, whereas uh, tea green is just providing this catechin, um, this antioxidant, uh, again, a very powerful antioxidant, to be able to uh, protect those, um, those molecules and those cells in your body. So it's going down and, and really protecting the cells and what those do in your body. So, another, um, another thing that I do want to point out are the primary benefits. And these are the claims that are, you are able to make with tea green. And some of those claims that we're not able to make with tea green uh, come up later. So, the primary benefits, I'm going to read these straight off the product information page so that you know, you know the verbiage that is approved um, and the, uh, again, that they are legally approved. So primary benefits are that it provides potent antioxidant, antioxidants to defend against free radicals at the cellular level, supports healthy cell function and helps protect cell structures including DNA. 
Now that again, that is extremely important because you know your DNA is getting thousands and thousands of free radical hits every single day. So you need to have those catechins, uh, those antioxidants, to provide that extra electron. And then, uh, lastly, thermogenic effect increases the body's metabolic rate. Now, a lot of people have asked, and I'll, and I'll just touch on that now. Well, can I just take T green and expect to see a huge, you know, huge weight loss? That's not necessarily accurate. Um, we wouldn't ever really recommend that you just use tea, green tea or tea green to, you know, to, to lose weight or to, you know, manage your body shape. Um, what we would recommend is that in addition to TR90 and fit and control and your protein shakes and your exercise, that you supplement that with tea green and reap some of those benefits. Now, if you want to read a little bit, I mean, it's a short paragraph. I don't necessarily want to read it word for word here online because we don't have that much time. Uh, but on the back page of the PIP, under your frequently asked questions, it, it says, how does tea green promote thermogenesis? And there's a really good answer there. And it references um, some studies and some presentations that were done. Uh, and honestly, there's some even better information than thermogenesis in there. So I would highly recommend you go take a look at that. So, you know, why is tea green so great? Um, and I think there's a lot of different, a lot of, uh, besides the powerful antioxidant, it's that you can, you know, replace seven cups of green tea with one capsule of tea green. And I think that's pretty spectacular because, again, that's one capsule. You're taking one to four daily, uh, you know, split between one and two in the morning, one and two at night. You're getting between 250 to 1,000 milligrams of, of this tea green. And you're, again, getting these amazing benefits. And again, one capsule replaces seven cups of green tea, but you're getting it at 99, is it, ni uh, sorry, um, you're getting it at 99.5% caffeine free. Um, and, and I think that's a big deal. So in each capsule, you're gonna be getting one to two milligrams of caffeine, but that is well below the stimulatory level. So, uh, it, I mean, still we would recommend that if you have sensitivity to caffeine that you take this product into your doctor and have him, you know, take a look at the, uh, the label and, and recommend whether or not it, it would be good for you to take. Now, the success quality process helps us guarantee that each one of these capsules is standardized to that 97% polyphenol content with the 65% catechins. And, and that's some of the highest in the industry. Uh, it's some of the most um, pure tea, uh, green tea extract that you can get in the world because of the region in China that it comes from. Um, the region in China that it comes from is the highest producing tea region in China with some of the highest quality tea in the world. So you really are getting those extremely high quality ingredients and then again backed by the success quality um, you know, process really provides you with this, um, with this uh, a, a, lot of, a lot of great um, purity in this product. So I, I was reading, you know, as I was kind of reviewing um, and, and thinking about what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, I, I did notice that there is a pretty staggering statistic here on the product information page and that it's uh, that after water, tea is the most consumed beverage and it is at 3 billion kilograms per year. Now you think about how, many, how big the market is then. Um, and Maylind, I will address that question right now. Sorry guys, I'm trying to, trying to um, see these questions you guys have asked and on screen. So uh, if it takes a second, uh, please be patient. But the, the market is absolutely massive. There's so many people that are drinking so much green tea in there. You know, they're, they're trying to drink those seven cups a day. They're drinking a lot to get the benefits when all you really have to take is, you know, one to two capsules and you're getting, um, you know, as much or more. Now, the question that was just asked was, why is this not scanner certified? Because the scanner, what the scanner does is it functions on this light that shoots it, that goes into your hand and um, it, with a blue light that hits a yellow carotenoid and reflects back green. So it has to hit a carotenoid to be able to be measured. Now carotenoids are a different type of antioxidant that are fat soluble. So this catechin, it's water soluble, whereas carotenoids are on the fat soluble side. And you can remember that because it's in the fatty part of your tissue. Thank you, Stephen. Um, so you're measuring these carotenoids and that's not necessarily what uh, tea green is providing. We're not providing carotenoids in there. That's why Life Pack and Youth are scanner certified um, is because you're providing those you know, carotenoid boosting um, uh, supplements into your, into your body. So when you're measuring those, that's what gives that measurement on the scanner. Whereas catechins, um, you're not necessarily going to be able to measure that per se, but, they, but overall your uh, carotenoid your, or your skin carotenoid score, your SCS score uh, is 
correlated to your overall antioxidant status. So um, it, it is important to obviously be measuring and be making sure you're getting those carotenoids because it's all correlated. So um, uh, there's so much information, guys. There's so much and there's so many questions. Uh, and again, I promise I'd keep it short so you can share this video with everyone else. So um, I, I, again, how, how and why is T Green 97 unique? It's because it is standardized to those you know, 97% polyphenols, 65% catechins, and it does come from, um, you know, these time-honored extraction processes and, and proprietary extraction processes that are, that are to us. And it is, again, some of the highest quality um, green tea buds in the world that are getting us uh, this really high quality extract. So, um, uh, again, go and read the thermogenesis part in the PIP. It's really interesting. And then... Um, uh, again, just to touch on the caffeine level, um, it's one to two milligrams per capsule, which is well below the stimulatory level. For those of you who are sensitive to caffeine, uh, again, check with your doctor. So um, I am going to go over some of your guys' questions now. And uh, Terry asked, why is there green tea in our nighttime formula? Now, uh, again, same green, same green tea plant, different extract. We're looking at the theanine in the nighttime formula as well as in cortitrol. So you're looking at what this theanine does for you. It really helps you to uh, relax without making you overly sleepy, but it really helps you to relax, thus promoting you know, the natural process of going to sleep without forcing you to go to sleep. Um, so uh, we, we use the theanine extract in nighttime and cortitrol, whereas we're using the polyphenol um, and catechin out of green tea for our tea green product. Great. Um, so, uh, Jennifer asks, what, what about taking a liquid form? Again, if you're comparing it to actual green tea, seven cups of green tea is equal to, uh, you know, one capsule of what we have in our tea green product. So you're getting a lot more when it comes down to it. Um, this is a product you're going to want to make sure you take with meals. That way it doesn't necessarily um, upset your stomach. We highly recommend you take it with uh, food and water. Now, next question. Susanna asks, can this, uh, can this be something people with anemia consume? Um, and if you have anemia, we, we recommend that you consult with your physician about that just because that's a, a medical condition that we don't, um, you know, we don't necessarily study every product with every single medical condition. Next question, Abby, uh, does it claim to help with bloating? We have actually never heard this claim. Um, bloating can be caused by many different issues and uh, this wouldn't, you know, this wouldn't necessarily help reduce it and we, don't, we haven't in our studies with t you know, seen the adverse uh, reaction of bloating. So that's not something that we expect to happen with this product. Um, Abby also asks, uh, what are the claims exactly? Now the approved claims are some of the things that I just reviewed, but also um, the, the product information page. Honestly, that is such a fantastic resource uh, because you know, in talking with our scientists, I noticed that the conversations I was having with them about tea green and, and you know, kind of learning for myself about their development processes and, and their thoughts on it, a lot of that stuff is actually in the product information page. So definitely go take a look at that. There's also studies that you can reference at the end. Um, okay, Jennifer asks, does it help suppress appetite or speed up metabolism? Now, if you're looking for that thermogenic effect, again, there's that section in here that talks about promoting thermogenesis and that one clinical study showed that 24-hour energy expenditure related to thermogenesis and metabolic rate and fat oxidation, um, that it worked better than caffeine alone or the placebo. So that's in that section I'm talking about. There's some really great information there. Um, so overall, it, it, it does have a thermogenic effect, yes. Uh, as far as an appetite suppressant, that's not what it's designed to do. Um, you know, if you're looking for appetite control and you know to help the willpower there, we definitely recommend looking at um, at control from the TR90 line, um, and 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 Jumpstart has some great properties in it as well. Okay, uh, and the next part of that was what science lends to those. If so, there have been a lot of studies done on this product um, at, at the uh, at the university level um, with some really well known uh, people. So. Again, the key scientific studies are at the end of the product information page. If you need, you know, if you need to show somebody the proof, that's really where it is at the end of the product information page, those key scientific studies. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook. Uh, and I can, you know, I can be talking to our research team, Tanner Gibbs, Stephen Tolbo, 
and Rebecca, they're fantastic and they have so much information. Uh, but most of the, again, most of that is already presented in the product information page. But if you have any specific questions, make sure you ask. Um, and so Jennifer uh, again asks um, about antioxidant and overall health, knowing it boosts our levels, but why? It's because we're providing that antioxidant in there. And again, it goes back to that free radical problem with those free radicals trying to scavenge electrons from healthy, other healthy molecules. And instead of that, we provide antioxidants to the body, which have extra electrons that can be provided to those free radicals. And free radicals happen, again, all the time, whether you're out in the sun, you know, pollution, smoke, diet, your, just your genes, exercise. A lot of people don't know that you release a lot of free radicals in your system by exercise. Uh, there's so many different things that do that, that you really need to be on top of providing your body with these antioxidants. Um, and tea green is one of those fantastic products. Again, Youth, Life Pack, those are going to be providing some very, very powerful antioxidants as well. Uh, Another question is, can tea green be taken with our other products? And the answer is yes. Uh, if you are on Age Lock Youth, you surely can be taking tea green. Um, Life Pack, you can be taking tea green. Um, you know, our, most of our Pharmanex products fit very, very, very well together and can be taken together. So, last question, can it affect anxiety as in make it worse? That was also something that we didn't necessarily, you know, see or anticipate in our studies, we none of those adverse reactions were um, reported in that. So that is not something again that we anticipate or expect. Uh, so yeah, we'll leave we'll leave it at that. Um, again, thank you guys for being.